Hi guys. So let's look at one more fantastic question from uh, an academy mock. Very good question for your practice. You can revise this funda also. So find the number of positive integral solutions of integers a comma b. A is more than b such that HCF of a comma b plus LCM of a comma b is fifty seven. That's the question here. Okay. So see this guys. Uh, what happens actually? The funda behind this is. Let's say there are two numbers a and b here. So I want I want a HCF right. So let's say. A is equal to some h into x and b is equal to some h into y, where x and y should be co-prime, है ना? तो x and y should be co-prime, हाँ, that's the condition for writing HCF. Then h, then I can say that h is the HCF here for these two numbers, right? For example, if it is like twenty and thirty, so I write this as ten into two and ten into three. So I can uh, tell that for twenty and thirty, ten is the HCF because two and three are co-prime. Co-prime means nothing is common in two and three, right? So in two and three, nothing is common. So that means co-prime. Like for example, two and three are co-prime, four and nine are co-prime, ten and eleven are co-prime, right? They have they have got nothing in common. Okay, five and uh, say ten are not co-prime. They are not co-prime because in this five is common here. Okay, that's the meaning of co-prime. So it says that HCF of AB plus LCM of AB. Now, what is the HCF of AB is H? Okay, so I got that. Okay, so HCF of AB is now H. Now, what is the LCM of AB? So see, when you take the LCM of A and B, for example, if I take the LCM here for twenty and thirty, so their LCM will come out to be sixty. How sixty? I'll take ten and ten common in both. So LCM I'll take ten and ten common common in both. And for two and three, since they are co-prime, they have nothing in common. So I can just multiply two and three into six. So ten into six, sixty is the LCM. Ten into six, sixty is the LCM, right? So now HCF of AB is S. What is the LCM now? So LCM of AB, I'll be taking here. So LCM of AB is LCM of HX and HY. Okay. So H and H is common. X and Y are co-prime. So I'll be multiplying X and Y here. That is HXY. That's the fund, right? That's how you solve such question. You assume this number says some h into x and h into y, where this is the uh, these are the co-prime. Okay. So now a HCF of AB plus LCM of AB is fifty-seven. That means HCF of AB is h, LCM of AB is h x y, and the sum is equal to fifty-seven. Okay. I'll take h as common. So now one plus x y is equal to fifty-seven. Okay, now see fifty-seven. I can write basically in four ways. No, it could be like one uh, into fifty-seven, fifty-seven into one, three into nineteen, and nineteen into three. So there are four ways because fifty-seven I am writing here as a product of two numbers here, right? Now let's take it uh, case by case here, guys. Okay, so. So look at the first case here, guys. In the first case, what I can see that h plus h x y is fifty seven. Let's say h is equal to one and one plus x y is fifty seven. So this is the first case. H is equal to one and one plus x y is equal to fifty seven. So I can say I can see that x into y is equal to fifty six. Now see, I know that x and y here are co-prime. X and y here are co-prime. That means nothing in common. So I already taught that uh, just to uh, make, just to uh, just to uh, revise you this thing, or if you don't know, you can learn this also. The number of ways, number of ways of writing a number as product of two co-primes is equal to two raised to n minus one. Where n is equal to number of prime factors. Okay, so you can just remember this. Okay, uh, it's very useful, Funda. So what I can directly write here? So x into y is fifty six. So how many cases I can make? So what is fifty six here? So fifty six x into y is sorry, x into y is fifty six. So x into y is equal to fifty six. Now what is fifty six? It is two cube into seven. 
so 2 and 7 there are two prime factors so number of ways will be 2 raised to n minus 1 so 2 raised to 2 minus 1 because n is 2 2 prime factors is equal to 2 raised to 1 that is equal to 2 ways okay basically two pairs i can form okay now let me just write those two pairs also if you want here i can write those two pairs as for example uh, when i can say that when x is uh, x and y is 56 right there are two ways of writing x and y as product of two co-primes so basically what i'm saying is one is seven into eight and one is uh, a kind of one into 56 okay now you have to take care that a should be more than b so once i write this so basically what is my a now so h is one so a will become how much so a will be equal to h into x so you see you don't need to do this right just to making just for, to make you understand I'm, I'm i'm writing this you don't have, don't have to do this in exam okay just understand this so a is equal to h uh, h into x right so now what is h here h is one and what is x here so x is seven okay now uh, b here so b is again h into y so 1 into y is 8 so you can just sense that because uh, hx a is more than b so because a is more than b so i should take hx should be more than hy also and in that case i should take x more than y so if i take x more than y so rather i should take 8 into 7 here and rather i should take 56 into 1 year ah, that would be better okay so basically a will become 1 into 8 so a will become 1 into 8 and, uh, and b will become 1 into that is uh, 7 so now a will be 8 and b will be 7 that means uh, sorry b will be 7 so 8 the basically 8 and 7 are one such pairs for uh, which their lcm hcf of a, a and b plus lcm of a and b is 57 right because for 8 and 7 their HCF is 1 Anna, and their LCM is 56. So their sum is equal to 757. Okay. Now, other pair I can get here. Uh, now, I can put 56 and 1 here. So, in the other pair, what I can do? A is equal to 56 and uh, B is equal to 1. So, 1 into 56 and B is equal to 1 into 1. That is 56 and 1. So, 56 and 1 are the other pair for which is the other pair for which HCF is 1 and their LCM is 56 and their sum will be equal to 57. So what I got? I got 2. I got how many pairs? I got 2 pairs, right? So this, I don't need to do this much because I already got 2 ways here. Okay. So I could have directly counted 2 ways here. So I didn't, I didn't, uh, I shouldn't do this much actually. Okay. Just to make you understand, I've done this. Now you can ask me that what is the meaning of A is more than B here. A is more than B means I cannot take ordered. I cannot shuffle it, right? For example, I've taken 8 and 7. So A is more than B. I should not shuffle it. I cannot take 7 and 8 here. This should not be taken. That's the meaning of uh, A is more than B. Okay, that means I'll simply count two ways here. I If A if A and B I could interchange, then it would have become 2 into 2 total 4 ways, right? But not that, that, that's not the case here. A is more than B, it means I need to take only one pair. Okay, that's the meaning. So I hope all of you got the complete funda behind this question. It's a very conceptual question. A lot of mistake uh, people have done in, in this question in mock, okay? At many places, they did that mistake. For example, uh, many people write the answer was 5 and they write uh, they wrote answer as 10, okay? Many couldn't solve it. So it's in, uh, in mock around only 16% people solved this question, okay? so correctly many will uh, actually mock the answer 10 also so that's a difference between, between ordered and unordered right okay so okay so let's now do it directly guys so i got two ways as the answer for first one now so let's come to second part now okay now in second part i can say that h is 57 and 1 plus xy is equal to 1 now see it, this is not possible right so h is equal to because this case is not possible because uh if h if 1 plus xy is 1 then x into y will become zero this is not possible right because one of the numbers cannot be zero so this is uh, this is the first case let me take this a second case now 3 into 19 so h is equal to 3 and 1 plus xy is 19 that means xy is equal to 18 what is 18 it is 2 into 3 is square again what is the number of ways 2 raised to n minus 1 so two prime factors here so 2 raised to n minus 1 equal to 2 prime factors 2 and 3 2 raised to 2 minus 1 again 2 raised to 1 that is again 2 ways so again 2 ways i'll be getting here in this part also and now the third part the third case i can solve here 
This is my third case when h is 19 and when uh, this is 3. Uh, this is 1 plus xy is 3. So if 1 plus xy is 3, that means x into y is equal to 2. So if x is into y is to 2 is equal to 2, so only one prime factor 2, right? So 2 raised to n minus 1. So 2 raised to 1 minus 1 is 2 raised to 0. That is equal to only one way. So only one pair I can form here. So 2 here, 2 here and 1 here. So total 5 would be the answer for this question. Okay. So 2 plus 2 plus 1, 5 is the answer for this question. So a very good question. A lot of concepts uh, got revised like 2 raised to n minus 1 funda, then ordered unordered funda, what is the funda of a is more than b, and then this HCF LCM concept, right? So multiple concepts combined, you could solve this question. A similar question had uh, come in CAT 2014, okay? It's a replica of CAT 2014, so you can uh, just answer me in comments. There was a question in CAT 2014 or 2012, I don't remember. It is question was basically HCF of AB plus LCM of AB is equal to 91 so with the same condition if i put a is more than b you can answer this question in the comments okay thank you guys see you in the next video hi guys and also give this uh, aimt on 28th of august so you can see there's such high quality of questions we have uh, and the 28th august the uh, aimt will happen from 12 pm the link you will find in description. So please enroll to the link and give this AIMT. Uh, from the same link, you will be getting that mock test analysis also. And we will be discussing all the questions and the strategy, how to, how one should have attempted this test, what are, what were the key questions that needs to be identified in LID and quant. Okay, so all that we will see in analysis. Okay, so do give this AIMT on 28th of August, guys. Thank you.